Okay, team, today we are talking about a subject that is very powerful in all of our lives. I don't care what you're doing, it's powerful in your life and my life in some form or fashion. And that's the ability to talk business, like get down to brass tacks really quick like we need to sometimes, talk strategy, debate, have healthy debate in a way where we're able to Hashtag GSD. You guys know that's one of my favorite hashtags. Hashtag GSD. Get shit done. Um, man, sometimes I find myself on two or three, you know, Zoom calls or Google Hangout calls or just conference calls. It, it's it's a great way. It's a bit, it's a popular way to communicate now. <clears throat> it always has been, but it's a lot easier that we can even have video up. We can see each other when we're talking and whatnot. But long story short. It's very easy in those calls to just for everybody to kind of just just soft sell ideas back and forth and just massage things back and forth. And all of a sudden you're 45 minutes in and sometimes not much has gotten done. So a key strategy, and man, we all struggle with it. I, I do too sometimes. A key thing to focus on, man, it could be, you know, I, I always like to say, with our family, with our business, with our community, with all levels of communication, we need to be able to graciously GSD. Let me say it again. Graciously, hashtag GSD, get shit done. So anyway, what you have to develop, the strategy you have to develop, and it's something I'm always working on. There ain't no, no, no day in my life where I have perfected this process. Something I'm always working on. The key is to be able to hit big points when they need to be hit, not shy away from these points, the, these dramatic things that it, it may be a really good idea you, you have or, or somebody else has, and they just, you know, for, for various reasons, we were reluctant drop the hammer and get the get it out there but then of course doing it do it in a way where you maintain maybe somebody's got a different point than you or, or a different way of presenting it but you, you're you don't do it in a way that rips the rug out from under them or, or, or in a disrespectful way you just you got to get your point across and and, and the strat and I think so many times at the in the workforce, um, I've worked a lot of different places and, and had the wonderful opportunity to collaborate with m many different groups. And I think too often you come at it one of two ways. Like this, it, right in the middle is, is, is perfection, which we'll never quite get, but we can get close. Over here is, I'm just gonna, I'm just reluctant to really speak my mind. I'm reluctant to, to, to lay out there what, what I, my thoughts. And then over here, you lay it out there and you're like a bull in the china closet. So that's kind of the two bookends over here. Well, somewhere in the middle is, is, is near perfection. And that's your ability to... And remember, every time I shoot a message, because it's something that I'm trying to work on in my life. I'm trying to get better on in my life. So talking to you helps me. So we, we are able to... We're like, okay, listen, I'm going to say what I have to say. But I'm going to do it in a way that is not the bull in the china closet way. I want people, the, the, right in the moment where I'm getting my point across, I want people to say, you know what, we like having him, he or she in this meeting, on this call, because that was pretty productive. We may not end up doing that, but I like how that was presented. Uh, I simply like having this person on the team. So that's the message today. What I, I want to challenge you to whatever you're, you're working on today. With, with your, if you got to get a point across with your kids... Or maybe your your spouse, or somebody at work, or somebody you're working with, halfway across the globe, or halfway across the country, where it's a conference call, or it's a phone call, it's a three way call, whatever. I want you to practice graciously. It's a word that many would say I overuse, but you can get a lot of GSD in in quick manner. When you put the word gracious in front of the way you say things and the way you do things. That's the key point here, folks. Don't be afraid 
to be an innovator. Don't be afraid to speak your mind. Don't be afraid to get your ideas out there. You are awesome. You have great things to give. No matter what you're involved in, every one of you has something great to give to that situation. So don't be afraid to do it. Just make sure you do it in a gracious manner. Too many times you, you lose your traction because, man, you got something great to give, but you do it in that that bull in the china closet way, and people are like, I just, I, I don't want to deal with that person on the team. They're a little too, it's a little too raspy. It's just way too raspy, and um, that's not going to work for this team. So it's a healthy balance. I love y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Let's try to have, we'll work together. Let's try to find some healthy balance so we can hashtag GSD. Much love, everybody. Be good.